Dozens of Democratic lawmakers have left the state of Texas. The move by the Democrats is aimed to derail efforts by their Republican colleagues to pass new voting restrictions and other conservative measures during a special legislative session. Calling from an airplane headed to Washington, D.C. on Monday afternoon, Texas State Representative Alex Dominguez told reporters that nearly everyone in the House of Representatives' 67-member Democratic caucus had fled the state. The exodus is intended to deny the legislature the quorum needed to approve any of the measures on Republican Governor Greg Abbott's special session agenda. Democratic lawmakers had also staged a similar walkout on May 30th to boycott a vote on an earlier version of the voting legislation. The walkout by Democrats in May had thwarted the first push for sweeping new voting restrictions in Texas. This includes outlawing 24-hour polling places, banning ballot drop boxes, and empowering partisan poll watchers. We are determined to kill this bill in this regular, in this special session, which will end on August the 7th. And we will stay out until then in order to do that. We are going to use that time to plead with our friends and our colleagues and our leaders in the Congress that the time is now. There is no more time. You must pass strong federal voter protection legislation and you must do it now. You must do it before the August recess. Our democracy is at stake. That's what's on the line. That is why we are here. Other proposed measures by state Republicans have divided Texas. These include bills restricting abortion access and blocking transgender students from competing in athletics that correspond with their gender identity. First, I will tell you that, that what the House of Representatives can do, the Speaker can do, is issue a call to have these members arrested. In addition to that, however, uh, I can and I will continue to call special session after special session after special session all the way up until election next year. And so if these people want to be hanging out wherever they're hanging out on this taxpayer paid junket, they're going to have to be prepared to do it for well over a year. As soon as they come back in the state of Texas, they will be arrested. They will be cabined inside the Texas Capitol until they get their job done. Well, Texas is one of a number of Republican-led states pushing new voting restrictions in the name of enhancing election security, citing former President Donald Trump's false claims that his November election defeat was the result of widespread fraud. We had no other option. There was nothing left to give. And so we took a stand and we left the state of Texas because that was the best and the right thing to do at the right time. And let me tell you this, who decided that one constitutional right deserved greater deference than the other? I'll tell you who, that's Texas.